Okay, hi everyone. So today we've got Pastor Panyani, that is from the Strand area in the Western Cape. And she's going to bless us with a, a beautiful teaching about faith that the Holy Spirit laid on her heart. And I'm just going to give it over to you, Pastor. I'm just going to ask you to share a little bit about yourself and um, and then start your teaching. Okay. Thank you for having me this morning. I feel so honored to be amongst you ladies. Uh, it, is, it is God's plan. It's not our plan. It's God's plan. Um, my name is Somi. Uh, my surname is Panyane. But I would love you to call me Somi. Yes. Uh, I'm residing in Luanze. Yeah, I'm residing in Brooklyn's Village, just near Luanze in this trend. I've been living here for about um, 15 years now. Uh, I, I lead a women's movement called um, God's Grace Women's Movement. Uh, we started the movement, I think, um, seven years ago. And when I started the movement, uh, uh, life just threw lemons on me. <laughs> it was not a good time for me. Uh, but fortunately, God has always has good plans for us because in the Bible, he says, I knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. So such scripture, it just manifests uh, at a certain given time in our lives. So we started the movement then with few ladies. Uh, but now I think we managed to reach out to so many uh, ladies in different areas of Cape Town. Uh, our membership now is around 97 ladies that we managed to reach out. We, we're hosting um, just uh, home meetings where we share the word and pray, support each other, encourage each other through the message from Christ. And we, we all, we're also doing them, the conferences. Mm -hmm. we, we plan for three conferences, big events per year. We only, we're all also doing uh, street evangelism, mm -hmm. outreach programs just to reach out to people of God out there and bring them back to the kingdom of God. Uh, our, our movement is only is not only catering for women, we're catering for families at large, even the, 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 the fathers, mm. brothers and sisters, and even young, young ladies mm. from 15 years and above, because we believe uh, it is our responsibility just to, to, to support them, to mm. guide them, and to reach out to the level that we are through Christ, mm -hmm. through the word of Christ. And we, I am also the pastor at House of Grace Church International, uh, which is here in Rwanda in this trend. I've started um, working in the position uh, four years back, I think so, yes, four years mm -hmm. back. I've been uh, working on that in that office as a pastor in that church. Uh, I'm a mother of four kids. I have um, one grandchild. Oh. He is now nine years old. Uh, I'm a widow, uh, but I'm a sister in Christ. Thank you so mm. much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think the minute uh, that we spoke about today, as I said to you, just give me some time to go and pray <laughs> because I didn't know what... Um, we are going to talk about until uh, I think it was good for us just to, to go to God because this is God's plan. Mm -hmm. He knows better than we do and he knows what is best for his people. So I prayed and what was made in my spirit was for us to talk about faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I believe uh, that uh, the, the, the times that we're living in now, it needs more us to be strong in faith. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as, as humans, we have things that we believe in. We have things that we're holding on to. And we, we have people that we believe in. Uh, at the same time, uh, these things, we, we just tend to lose them along the way. Even people, even though we, we don't lose them like literally, people are, are moving in different uh, places, depending on what God wants them to do. Maybe I, I can hold on to you now. Then God is telling you just to relocate and do his work mm. on, on the other side of the town. I might not be losing you 
mm. the connection is spiritual, emotional, or but you some of the times you, you're not gonna be here. Mm. Then we need something that we, we can hold on to, something that we'll never lose along the way. Uh, and, and there's something that is guaranteed. That is that God is, is even pleased when we hold on to yes. that is our faith. Yes. Uh, in Hebrews, I think it's chapter six, chapter eleven and verse uh, six. Yes, and it 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 says there, and without faith, it is impossible to please God. Yes. So we are striving towards that, as we know that in our lives. And in and in, in the ministry that we are doing, we are striving to please God. Mm. We are striving to accomplish God's mission mm. and God's plan. Yes. But without faith, we cannot even do that. Mm. There, there, there are things that are important for us, for our lives, in all aspects of our lives, mm. but we cannot access them without faith. Yes. Yeah. And and to God, it doesn't matter how small, how big it is your faith. Mm. The only thing that is matters, even the Bible says that even if your faith is as small as a master's uh, seed, it can work. Mm. Yeah, you can just tell the mountain mm. to move. As, as, as small your faith as it is, but if it is strong, yes. we just need the, 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 the strength of our faith, mm. the strongness, the powerfulness, of our faith to make things happen, to declare things, to, to just make things that, uh, to come into existence, mm -hmm. to manifest. Mm -hmm. we, we can only do that through our faith. Yes. So it is vitally important for us to have faith that we can hold on to. Mm -hmm. So some people can just ask us, what is faith? Yes. What is it that you're talking about? What is faith? Yeah. Yes. The Bible says faith is assurance. Mm. Just that, uh, that, 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 that word, mm. assurance. Yes. It's, it, it gives us uh, the understanding that it, it is something that is certain. It is something that, is, that we can be confident mm. about, that we can be sure of. Yeah, and it is a promise from God. Remember, God's promise are, 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 are yes, they, they, they don't change. Yes. Whatever God has promised us, He fulfills. He doesn't change. He, 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 just, he just gives us everything that He promised. So faith, faith itself, it is assurance that is coming from God. Yes. Something that we, we, we can be sure of. So that if, if we were holding on to our faith, we have the assurance that it will work for us. It will give us access to the things that we need to access. It will just strengthen our connection with God. Because if you want to please God, there's a tool that we have to use, our faith. Amen. Amen. And when we go on with that scripture, and with that scripture, it says it is assurance of things that we hope for. That gives us the declaration that things that we hope for, we live in, in, in a way that we hope for beautiful things. Mm -hmm. we, hope for, we hope for healing. Mm -hmm. We hope for good health. We hope for doors to open. Mm -hmm. we, we, we just hope for beautiful things, for positive things. So if we, there, there's only way for us to access those things, it's true faith. Mm -hmm. Because the, those things, the, the, those things are the things that we cannot see by our naked eye. But true faith, we can just claim and declare for those things to come to existence. Mm. For example, for example, if if you want to start a business, mm. it, it's it's in your mind. It is in your mind. It's something that you hope for. It's something that you wish for, and you have the vision mm. in your mind. Yes. But to put that into existence, we need faith. Yes. Even if if if, if you can you can have a, a financial support mm. and a vision, mm. but without faith, you will doubt yourself. Mm. So that is that is a seed, a small seed that we need to give, to plant in ourselves to make things happen. Yes. And we know that 
all those things out. They are not surprised to God. Yeah. Before he formed us, he had this provision for us. Things that, that we are surprised when we get, as if we get them accidentally. Yeah. God is not surprised with it because it's a package in our lives. But he needs our faith to access those things. Even, even our, in our spirituality, if we want to grow, because we, we need growth in spirituality, we don't have to, to, to be in one level. We don't have to be stagnant. Mm. There has to be growth in, in our spirituality. But that growth, that growth, we can access it through faith. Yes. Because even if we pray without faith, nothing could happen. Even in our spirituality, mm. if we want spiritual growth, we need faith just to drive that. Yeah. Our source of that is in our faith. Yes, yes, yes. And it is the conviction yeah. of things that are not seen. But we are convinced mm. because we know our God. We know our through our faith, God can make those things happen. They, he can just put them into existence. So we, we are just convinced about it. That is faith. Mm -hmm. Then someone can ask another question that why? Why mm. do we do we have to hold on mm. to faith? Because there are so many things that we can hold on to. But why faith? Mm. Yes. Just to answer that question, there's a Bible verse in Proverbs 3, chapter 3, verse 5 to 6 that says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. With your heart. God uh, uh, needs us to put our trust in fully to him. Mm. Put our, when we put our trust in God, we put our whole, oh, just hold me in to him. Mm. In serving God, we cannot serve God without trusting him. We cannot live the life of salvation without trusting God. So faith alone, it means trusting in God. So if we have faith in him, definitely we will trust God. And nothing will, will ever just make us to, to doubt him, doubt ourselves, doubt his word, doubt his word, doubt the ministries that God has put us in. If we have faith, and we trust God. Because we know it is not about us. Mm. It is about God's purpose, God's will, about his kingdom, mm. about his sheep. Mm. So we need to put, to put our own trust in God. Yes. And it, it says, trust in God with all your heart. We know that there are so many things around us that can deceive us. And it's not in our minds. The danger is in our heart. Mm. The mind can process all that is going around, but the, the, the major, major part of us, that the, the whole thing in its stays is our heart. Mm. God doesn't say to us, trust me with your mind. He said, trust me with your heart. Mm. And we know that... Uh, it's easy to be deceived from what we hear, what we see, and it is processed in our minds. But if, if we can just strengthen our faith in our heart, the devil cannot deceive us because we'll be having strong faith and we'll be putting the whole of our trust in the Lord. And by so doing, we are just safe in the Lord. Because God wants, He just wants to earn our trust, mm. and He deserves it. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, He does. <laughs> <laughs> and do not lean on your own understanding. Mm. That goes to our minds. Mm. That is where it is easy for us to de to be deceived and to move from the position that God wants us to be. Mm. So the Bible says we must not lean. To, to our understanding, because he knows with our understanding, our understanding, our minds, they go hand in hand with our emotions. Mm. So it will be easy for us just to move from where God wants us to, to where God's position us. Mm. So we must not lean to our understanding, because today 
we understand the situation in, in, in this manner. And when the season changes, we understand our, the situation in a, a different perspective. Yeah. So God wants us to be strong in our position where God has just put us in on. So we must just go away with, our, with, with, with leaning to our understanding and just lean to God. In all our ways, we must acknowledge him. In all our ways. So that gives us the understanding that whatever we are doing, the ministries that God has put us in is not ours. We must acknowledge that it is God's way. Yes. It is God's purpose. It is for God's kingdom. It's not for me. Mm. It's not mine. Yes. It, it is for God's kingdom. Yes. And by so doing, it's easy for us to acknowledge whoever God is bringing. Uh, it, 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 it's just bringing into your circle, into your ministry. Mm. You, you, it's easy for us to acknowledge yes. that because we know that this is God's same person for God's face post, for God's uh, kingdom. Mm. In order for, 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 for the word of God, for, 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 <laughs> yes, for the heart of God to reach as many as possible, we have to acknowledge him. Yes. yes. We have to acknowledge him as the overseer. Mm. We have to acknowledge him as the head. We have to acknowledge him yes. as, a, as the person who gives different gifts for in different uh, people. So that those people just can just come together working in God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. That acknowledging part, it goes a long way. Yes. Because yes. if we acknowledge him yes. as an overseer, as a head, it, it's easy for us to acknowledge others, yes. to get abroad and, and just work together to accomplish God's, God's mission. Okay. Uh, and I, th I think that's the why part of it, why mm -hmm. thing. We want to please God. Mm -hmm. We want, we want, uh, we want, we are presenting Christ on earth. Mm -hmm. Whatever God he is in heaven right now, mm -hmm. we are presenting him on earth. Yes. So by faith, we walk. Mm -hmm. By faith, we believe. Mm -hmm. Because we, we bring, we bring faith, we bring salvation to people that are still holding on to their things. So we have to go there. We have to reach out to those people, introducing Christ, in introducing faith. Because as, as I said earlier on, that the things that we're holding on to, we, we just tend to lose them all over. But people has, uh, has to have something that they, 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 they just want to lose all over. In and out of season. Because we know our lives is, is scheduled according to season. Mm. We, we are in dry season now. Eventually, we move to sunny season. We may eventually we move to a windy season. We, but if we hold on to our faith, we will just survive to all mm. those kinds of seasons. Yes. And faith isn't just a notion that some people hold on to in tough times. Because sometimes in tough, in tough times, we, we only think about mm. faith. It is only my faith that can sustain me now. And when things are going well, we just leave it. Mm. Faith is not that kind of a thing. It's not a notion that you just run to in different times. Mm. But faith is an important element on our human life on earth. We need faith to survive yes. on this earth. Mm -hmm. As I just said earlier on. And at the same time, faith is what helps us to accept things that we need from God. Mm -hmm. Because we, we, for us to survive, for us to be sustained, mm -hmm. we draw our strength from, from God. Mm -hmm. Everything that we need, we draw from God mm -hmm. through the way that we get from the, from the Bible, through our prayers, through just uh, the, the kind of gatherings that we do. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I, I, I feel weak is the yeah. dry season, yeah. then I need you to lean on. I'm not leaning on you, mm. but the strength of your faith, mm. it, 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 it just gives me strength to carry on. Yeah. Yeah. That is what's important. Uh, I think we're about to close, yes, but <laughs> mm. 
before I do that, uh, in closure, what I can just say, as I said uh, earlier on, it is not about how big is your faith or how small is your faith. It is about the strength of your faith. And as I said, that we we experience in different times in life, different seasons in life. But with faith, there, there are seasons that you, you cannot even pray. Mm. When, when, when it's time for you to pray, depending on the season that you are in, let's say you are in a dry season mm. and, and challenges are hitting you left, right, and center, and you are even unable to, 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 to just pray. Mm. I, I, I believe you've been to such a season and you know that mm. I've been in such a season, a season where I couldn't even pray. A season where the things that I experienced, uh, they made me to doubt God mm. at some point mm. in my life. That is where your faith just intervenes and stands for you before God. Because your vulnerability, your weakness in your body and in your mind and in your focus, mm. it, 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 work, it works the opposite of what has to be done mm. in, in, in such season. But your faith, it, it stands strongly before God for you. It intercedes for you before God, mm. just your faith. And you, you don't even understand during such time until that season is over. Mm. Then when you look back, you don't see your footsteps. Yeah. But when you look back, you, you ask yourself, how did I make, I make it? Yeah. It was your faith that stood yes. on your behalf before God. It was your faith that carried you through. Yes. It was the faith that interceded for you. It stood between you and God. Yes. That's why I said we tend to lose the things that you hold on to. Yes. But if you hold on to our faith, even in good times, because if, 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 if we are in a good season, yes. we, we feel so relaxed yes. because we see everything is working good. Yes. But we forget that all things are working together for those that love God. Then we cannot love and please God without faith. Yes. Then we tend to be happy and forget to do the things that pleases God. Because there are things that we have to do in dry season and even in rainy season for God. Mm -hmm. That God has entrusted in us. That God wants us to worship him with. That the ministry that God has placed in us. But sometimes when you see that things are going well, we tend to relax and forget about that. But it's your faith that will, will always revive and remind you mm -hmm. that even though things are going well, but there's still a mind mm -hmm. that we have to accomplish for God. So today I, was, I just wanted to share with you that amongst the things that we believe in, that we want to hold on to, let us just leave them and hold on to our faith. Our faith will always be there for us in and out of season. When we are tired, our faith will be strong. It doesn't matter how small it is, but if we can feed it until it is strong enough to stand for us. If we are weak, it doesn't matter because God always works with weak people because he, he wants to show his strength in our weakness. And through his grace, it is only by his grace that we manage to do this thing. Yeah. But we cannot, it cannot work for us if we have no faith. Mm -hmm. Because we have to, to have faith to believe even that through God's grace, we manage to stand. Mm -hmm. We have to have faith to believe that it is only by God's favor mm -hmm. that we manage to, to, to go through other areas of our life that we cannot go through with our own knowledge, our own strength, our own power. But we, so without faith, we cannot please God. We cannot believe on that. And he wants us to put our trust in him in all aspects of our lives. Mm. Yes. Like a, like a dad, like a dad that's yes. saying, just trust me, I'm going to feed you. Don't yes. worry about it. Yes, and you don't ask. How? Yeah. No, you, you don't. You, you just trust. You just, we just trust him that yes. he will save you. Exactly. exactly. That's yes. how we must uh, trust God 
and just use our faith. Mm. And we must pray. Mm. We must feed it. It, it needs to be fed. Fed mm. faith for, in order for it to grow. Mm. It needs to be fed mm. by, by the word of God. Mm. Reading the word of God. Yes. Praying. Mm. Fellowshipping with others of the kingdom of God. Mm. Because we draw strength from each other. Yes. By just gathering together. Mm. After that gathering, you can feel that your faith has just grown to another level, to another dimension. Mm. That is what God needs from us. Yeah, yeah beautiful, God. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's a powerful teaching, and, and, and there's so much that we can talk about this. We probably need to do a couple of these sessions, actually. Okay. But um, what, I, what, I, what came to me while you were talking was remembering if someone has to say, okay, but how do I get this part? Mm. And it's to remind you that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word Only of God. Of so God. if you feel you lack faith, go read the word of God and read it out loud because yes. then you start believing. You, you start to yourself. Yes. So, so that's the one thing that just, you know, pops to mind oh. for me. And, um, and then the other thing, uh, I want to tell you a quick story. I see we have five minutes and then we can just log into the next one. Um, a friend of mine, a, a prophet friend of mine, he's passed away now. But one day he said to God, God, so I only need a mustard seed of faith. Can we move that mountain then? Mm -hmm. And God said, yes, we can move the mountain. But tell me why. What purpose is it going to have yes. if we move that yes. mountain? You know, so, so yes, you can have the faith to go and walk on water or do whatever. But remember that it needs to be in God's will and the purpose that he has for you and the plans that he has for you. So just because you didn't move that mountain or didn't walk on water, because I think we've all tried it, eh? We've all tried to walk on water. Huh? Uh, you know, we've tried. <laughs> but you know, so if you can't walk on the water, it doesn't necessarily mean because you don't have the faith. It's just not in the world. It's going to make a difference. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Uh, it, it just comes now in my mind that the mountains that we're talking about is not the mountains literally. Physical. It, yeah, it is the mountains that we face in our lives. So some of the of the, those mountains, they are there for God's peoples. Uh, because God can just put us in the wilderness for his people. Mm. Then we will be crying to him that, I just want to go out of this, as the Israelites did yeah. when they were moving from Egypt to, to the world, or, or to the, the promised land. Because there was a short route for them, but God decided to take a longer route for them. Yeah. Because he knew, he knew that he still has to work, to work on their faith. That's why they, they started to mourn along the way. They said to Moses, uh, it was better for us to die in Egypt. They didn't know that they were there in the wilderness for the purpose of God. Because some of the, of those mountains, they are put just, be, that's just in front of us for, for God's people. Maybe on that season, God is still dealing with you. There's another aspect of your life that God needs to work on to strengthen your faith. Before, before you move that kind of mountain. But I, I know and I understand it is so difficult to understand and accept it yeah. up until That's you true. go to mm. God and inquire from him. Yeah. As you just said now, that we need to inquire from God. Maybe it is, it is for God's purpose. Exactly. Even if the, our faith can be strong to move the mountains, there are mountains that we have to, to stay behind for a certain time up until God's purpose is accomplished true. about our, our lives. Then they, we can move the mountain. It's true. It's true. It's, and, and even like um, there was a girl, Rosebud Sahuane, I think is, is, is her name. And she said, she said that there was a point in her life where she just got to that point where she realized when, when everything is going wrong in her life, mm. she just sits back and she goes, okay, I'm not going to fight this. I'm not going to whatever. I want, just let me go through it. God, let me just go through it. I'm just, I'm not going to fight it because otherwise <laughs> it takes too long to remove that fountain. So. Remember David, David, when he was acquiring from God, yeah. should I chase them? Yeah. Then you he, he listen to God and God said, yes, Thanks. you can chase them and you, you're going to overcome. Yeah. If may, maybe David would just quickly chase the enemy, yeah. he wouldn't overcome. Exactly. It's so important to inquire from God. So and true. that is faith also. That gives us the, the, the knowledge and understanding that 
we have to inquire from God because we believe uh, whatever is correct, whatever is, is going to uh, give us breakthrough, it is from God. And, and, and we believe through our faith that we must inquire and wait yes. from God. Which is hard, right? It is. That waiting. It is. <laughs> Desha, did you want to say something to, to Pastor Salmi? <clears throat> yes, I just, um, it's just so uplifting to me to be reminded about, um, I think, what faith really is, because I think we tend to throw that word around so easily and we actually take it for granted so i'm i'm really very grateful for this message because it actually just reminded me of what faith really is you know because it's very easy just to say well i walk by faith or mm -hmm. um, even asking god god please just give me faith but it also needs action and that's something that's um that was actually standing out to me today during this message. Um, and also, you know, when you mentioned about um, the difference between trusting in God with your heart versus your mind, mm. faith, is not, faith is not something that um, is necessarily logical mm. or that even makes sense. And that is something that really was amazing to me, that just that reminder that, you know, that we mustn't lean on our own understanding. And that part really um, hits home to me. Mm. And it's actually so encouraging to think of it that way because we do tend always, we, we think through things logically mm. and we try to reason through things and situations and so on. But I find it encouraging because we don't have to, we don't need to always understand why we're going through something or why things are happening the way it is or trying to see what or how things will pan out. Just that faith, wholehearted faith, trusting in God. It's actually liberating if you think about it because you don't have to reason through things or try and force things to make sense just you know trust in god it's actually quite simple <laughs> so to me it's yeah the message was very encouraging from from that perspective so thank you so much Lian, <laughs> is there each way will throw something you want to ask or or say or comment you can type. We, we can read. Huh? <laughs> I'm Afrikaans praat, jy moet my net vertaal. Okay. Yeah, I, just, just want to say, just want to say thank you. It was, it's really good and, and I love listening to it and um, yeah, for me also, um, it was uplifting and yeah, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Buy a donkey? Don't buy a donkey. That is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I just want to say that's very encouraging and um, we all need to learn to have more faith and just to let go and let God. Oh, Colleen, that is powerful. I think we're probably going to finish up in the next 10 minutes. Um, mm. I... I one thing that keeps coming to mind or coming that I'm hearing a lot about lately, Pastor, is kingdom of God, kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. You know, seek first the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Kingdom is a big thing right now. And it's realizing that we are in that kingdom. Number one, the world doesn't understand mm -hmm. it. And it is, it's unshakable faith that sometimes makes us look like fools, but so yes. what? Fools yes. to the world, but not to God. <laughs> you know? And, and it's being in this kingdom knowing that you're in this, your kingdom um, kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And standing there, knowing that if I pray for you and I lay hands on you to get healed, you will be healed because we're in the kingdom. We might not be in heaven yet, 
but here on yeah, earth, his will be done. Thank you know? You. So so whatever that we're praying for, sometimes, sometimes I literally just have to pray that Lord, can I start praying again? Mm. You know? Mm. And and that was that was quite liberating to me as hearing that. You know, we go through these seasons where we actually don't even want to pray. Mm -hmm. We don't even want to read. We don't even want to do anything. Mm -hmm. And and that, that human aspect coming out where, thank you, Lord, I'm not alone. I'm not the only one who goes through these intense mm -hmm. struggles because it gets intense sometimes. But one thing is certain that no matter what season I'm in, I never mm -hmm. stop believing that Jesus is the Lord, yeah. that he is the King of Kings, mm. that he is the Son of God, mm. that there's no other way to everlasting life but through him. I have not lost that ever mm. in my walk. No matter how far I've fallen, how, you know, in Saudi Arabia, mm. of the, we were, that is, it's hard, it's hard there because they have these things that moans over the intercoms every mm. couple of hours and and it, it's, mm. it's hard because in Saudi there's no church. There is no church, you know. Mm. So you 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 get your info from at in at that point we didn't have this sort of thing. So we used to get our info from YouTube or wherever. And it's not the same as fellowshipping, mm. and it's hard. Mm. So it becomes hard. Mm. And even in that time, which was my driest season ever, mm. I didn't stop believing who Jesus was. Yes. I can tell you I, I, I was deceived a little bit in, mm. in, in teaching and stuff. Mm. That I can guarantee you. I fell off a little bit. But mm. luckily God is all powerful and through his grace brought me back very gently and sometimes a little harder. Mm. But bringing me back into the love and everything. But the point is that our faith, needs to stay standing mm -hmm. without that you're right i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna pray and it's nothing's gonna happen mm -hmm. but the moment that 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 i don't know it's just in here mm -hmm. it's in your heart mm -hmm. it's here when that thing comes through mm -hmm. you know that you've just prayed a prayer and something something's gonna move something's just changed the atmosphere has changed god is moving and, and this is, I love this. I love this teaching, of course. You know what just comes up in my mind now? When, you, when you're just talking about the, this very difficult situation, mm. sometimes we, we, we don't understand that we are leaning on our faith. Mm. We are leaning on mm. God. Because sometimes we see ourselves not being able to pray. Mm. But you, you'll be saying in your heart or with your lips that, oh God, what is it? Mm. By that, God knows that all oh, you trust in me. Because you're not, ask, you're not asking someone else. Yeah. You're asking God, God, what is it that I'm experiencing? Mm. You inquire from you. Yes. That is faith. Yes. Because you know exactly someone that will answer you and will answer you in it, just will give you a relevant answer from what you're experiencing. It is God. Mm. Yeah, and even when we, we cannot pray, mm. you will just uh, con confess it with your mouth that, God, I can't. By so doing, yeah. you, you think that you're just throwing it to him. Yeah. But by so you doing, it is your faith that speaks for you that, God, I cannot take it, not anymore, but here I am. Mm -hmm. So do, your faith just, just carries you yeah. to God. Yes. The importance of our faith. Yes. You know? Yes. And the fellowship uh, a part of you, as you just said, that it was impossible for you to fellowship. Mm. I, I just said uh, earlier on that, even our, uh, our faith, we get strength, we, get, we, get, we, we build strength of our faith through just meeting with others. Mm -hmm. And even the Bible says so. Mm -hmm. we, we cannot just neglect meeting with others. That mm -hmm. fellowship, it, it brings something strong in our faith. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And yeah, do not forsake the gathering of, yes. the, of the braver and yes. absolutely. And yeah, there's just so many scriptures that also popped to mind, and now I forgot the one that just came to my mind. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? You want to ask Pastor Panyani um, anything at all? Oh. No. <laughs> Hello. We are seeing, but do you hear us now? <laughs> oh, oh, and we can hear you. you. She <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that we're almost done. <laughs> hey, Mama, <I'm> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Do you want to ask any question before we close? 
No. <laughs> how was it? How was it? Just share with us. How, how was it? The part that you, you managed to get. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, my man, figure say packet. His son, guys, band share a part in the new band team. Okay, okay. She's she's she yeah. didn't manage to get the first part of it. She just managed to get the last part of it, but she can stress to you that it was powerful. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you'll get the Thank video. You. I'll send you the link. Yes. You'll get the video. You'll get the link to the video, the whole to the whole video. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hello, Hi, Karen. Karen. I saw you. Hi. How Hi. are you? I'm good. I'm good. Had a little weekend. Yes, it's been long. <laughs> no, I'm on leave this week. That's why I can join you guys. I'm not oh, at work today. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. No, but I always check you. afterwards the links. <laughs> Did you want to say something or ask something to Pastor Panyani? No, I don't have any questions. I just, um, light bulb moment that I liked was um, when you're weak and you, and you pray and it feels like you're not breaking through, that the strength of your faith carries you and speak on your behalf. That was, that was profound, um, really. Uh, was a light bulb moment for me baby. because there are times when you're so weak and you feel like you're not getting breakthroughs does god hear me oh yeah but yeah i will remember that part when i give up and i feel low i can trust the strength of my faith will carry me through when it's true you look back and then you wonder always how did you make it through yeah you look back on the year and you see the the areas on your journey where God carried you through this year, you you mm. stand amazed that you made it through and mm. that kept you for the next battle or the next um, challenge that comes on your way. So definitely I will, I am actually made a note in my book on that one, the strength of your faith. It's not how big or how small the faith is, it's the strength of it. That was really something new. It stood out for me. Mm. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Can we ask Pastor Salmi, please, will you pray for us? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, this is your day that we have made for us to be glad uh, and rejoice in you. Father, we believe that uh, before we even start with this uh, program, you were there speaking to us. Uh, we know that you gave us, you've just given us the mandate to do this for your will to be accomplished. Father, here we are today, as you just spoke uh, to us, uh, uh, that we need faith to please you. We are here pleading with you and asking you, uh, please help us, uh, please strengthen our faith. Uh, it is uh, with our utmost um, need and strive to fulfill your, your purpose about our lives. And we need uh, this kind of faith that can please you. The world out there is waiting for us to present you so that your people can just come back to your kingdom and be saved. Father God, help us as we are these ladies today to do your will. Help us, just cover us, anoint us for your will to be accomplished or for your, for your heart to be revealed out there. Father, we know as we're standing here, we're standing for millions and trillions of people who are out there seeking your life, seeking your salvation, seeking the breakthroughs. We are here for them, Father. We are just standing before you and them so that the word, your word, Father, your loving word, your saving word, your healing word, your comforting word, word can just uh, reach them out there for, for their breakthroughs, for their healing, Father. Father, what we pray today, so that this message cannot just uh, uh, end here. It can just uh, go uh, uh, viral to, mm. throughout the world so that it reaches whoever you know that is in need of this message. Mm. Help us, Father, and bless us today and forevermore. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Panyane. 
Thank you. So, thank you, ladies, for coming. Was such a blessing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.